For this experiment, Arvid Prepper 34 asked me to make a filter system out of household items. So I went out and got some household items that we might need or can use. I'm going to use a tin can as my filter system thing. Here, 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 and here. All right, here's the can can be found anywhere in your house. Paper towels can also be found. Toilet paper, maxi pads if you have a woman, cotton balls, maxi pads, stuffing from a uh, polyester, also stuffing from a uh, teddy bear. Sponge with uh, both things. Another sponge. And make sure you use a sponge that's never been used. The sponge has been used, there you got bacteria. And, believe it or not, a fish aquarium uh, filter. It has two items that you kind of need to filter out uh, water. One is the Choco. Now you can go to Walmart and buy a big bottle of Choco, which is good to have in your can. Look at that. Say so a black stuff is Choco, and you want that as your filter system. All right, now basically, I have a cup, a can, and let's see if I can get some. Basically, I want to make a filter system. I recommend to use almost all of these items. We're going to do a test. Me and you are going to do a test. It might take a few minutes, but we're going to do a test and see which one does a better job. Now, Mexi Pad is supposed to hold water. But it's also a good filter. Let's try it out anyway. That's a good idea, huh? Let's see if we can just pour a little water on top of it and see if it'll go through, which I doubt, you know. That holds the water, so that's gonna be a fail. All right, what if it? I know these are good to have. All right, we got polyester, toilet paper, cotton, sponge should do a good job in this test. I forgot about the. This is supposed to absorb, not go through. All right, let's do a test. Uh, let's make it fit, huh? All right, we've got a sponge. Toilet paper might not be good to use, so we're going to throw it on the side. Cotton balls and polyester. You know, I never used polyester. We're going to use that for the top. This is where we'll pour all the water and we we'll want something to change it out. Cotton's a good filter. But before we do, we want to put our charcoal there. Now, like he said, 
every household, not every household has a Chaco. Even you want this filter, a filter system. Let's take a look at this. See, Choco. That Choco is good as a flavor. Let's say you got egg water or nasty tasting water. The Choco would give it, take that taste out. So. Now we we'll use this filter too. So Choco will give flavor to your water. So we will put that at the bottom of your can. Should get a bigger can, huh? Do I have a bigger can? No, we don't. All right, Choco. It's a flavor. Then we'll put the cotton balls. Then I never tried polyester, but we're gonna put a little polyester in it. Now we could have put this sponge on the other sponge. I think this sponge is better because believe it or not, this collects the bad stuff. It might not even go through either. And I'm going to put the blue stuff on top because that's going to be our, our, our better filter. Alright, we'll go to a test. Stir up our nasty water. Oh yeah. Now I knew I added a couple of things that I don't have to add, like the polyester. But all these fibers, believe it or not, collects all the bad materials that's in water. And this is just dirty water, so I'm just going to keep pouring it until I get and see what happens at the bottom. I wonder how many times I had to take the filter, the dirty water, to get clean water. I'm going to go ahead and make another one. Let's see if we can get the clean out all the dirt out. It's going to take a couple filters to get that dirty water out. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to try the paper towels. And the sponge. Now, I could have let this water set. But I'm doing a test. I think you're supposed to let it sit. Now this time we don't have the charcoal. And remember, you got towels always in your house too. You got old socks or clean socks that you can use also. Yeah, 
us all these little fiber uh, materials is to made to grab all that stuff. Now, if I was in the woods, I would let the water settle and still be dirty water. But this is a test. We love tests. Now remember, when you use a knife to cut through a can, work the back way. Unless you got one of them knives you don't give a crap about, like this 25 cent knife that I got. You know what these are really good for? You can light fires with these. Filter your water with these. All right, we got our first little water here. Let's see, we still can put more water. And see what happens. Never the charcoal is for taste, flavor. We added that to the to our little uh, filter system. It's going to take like two filters to filter because we did let it set. There we go. what our water looks like now we got to filter again like I said it's gonna take a couple filters though to get it to where we want it I'm gonna try this different filter system and see what happens now it might take a little longer because I have a plug in it And don't forget, boys and girls, you still got to boil this water after you filter it.
Alright. Uh, okay, let's see what the water looks like now. Alright, let's see. Let's change. Yeah, this one's almost full. Like I said, it's, it takes time to get it right. To make sure you got it uh, right co uh, combination. Uh, sock is a lot of cotton in it. Make sure you use a clean one or a brand new one. With a plug at the bottom. And a can. Alright. Let's take a look at our water now. It's getting there where we can drink it. See, if I just let it that muddy water settle, filter through the first one, but I want to do a test. So I did my test. Look at the water now. Now, if I make it like so. And look at the clear water I got now. Now the water is clear enough to boil and drink and cook your food with. If you think you need to clear it out more, go for it. This is called the two-can uh, filter system. I still recommend that you use one of these as the bottom, uh, the the last filter source because it's big and thick cotton. Uh, but these items you do find around your house. You do find paper towels. You find if you own an aquarium. You will find cotton balls, these items, tapons. Now, if I really wanted to, I could have coat the walls with this, but it's an absorber. I wasn't thinking. <laughs> Mama, use your tap peepers. You son of a bitch, I kill you. All right, there you have it. Clear, fresh water. And it's still dripping. It might take forever. And there you go, folks. I got my dirty water to nice and clean.
uh, cool little filter system around your house. That was the request. Use how uh, normal household items to make a filter. Remember, you still got to bowl this water. But it's drinkable. Alright, I'm Ranger Cookie. I hope you enjoy this video for Urban Prepper 34. I made this video too long, but it cuts them out. So, I hope you enjoy it. I'm Ranger Cookie. <laughs> Mama Google beat because I use her tampons. <laughs>